Here we what are. are anyway? I'm just doing this. I'm just going to draw this out and um, get the. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to. No, you shouldn't. You're absolutely right. So punch the hole in the centre of each one of these, as you can see. Oh, give you focus. Come on, focus. Uh, yeah, that's good enough, I think. Uh, punch the hole in there and out. I'm going to put a pilot hole in it, and then I'm going to drill out the surface of this, bang it through, and hopefully take the handle off, because that is what has happened to it. And that fell off while I was punching that hole. It just dropped off. So it shows you how, what state the wood is in. So there is no way on God's earth I can leave that like that. Uh, and that is why I'm doing a job that I definitely do not want to do. But having said that, just get on with it. <laughs> now, if you needed any proof, that this handle on this axe was absolutely rotten. This here is what happened when I was banging out the rivets. This fell apart while I was banging these out. It all just crumbled. I've kept this bit because I'm going to need that to find out the diameter of the top because it slots in here at the top there, like that. But this is definitely been caught in a fire as you can see that's all burnt down there and down there and they've picked it up slapped a bit of tar on it or what thought it would be all right but it's it's absolutely gone it's that is definitely rot and the rot you can see it it's and it's it's punk it's definitely punky it's it's awful so now I've got to follow the pattern of this to fit that in there. <sighs> I'm not enjoying it yet, but I no doubt will do as it gets to the end. And I've got a lot of cleaning to do on the inside of this, I'll show you. But it's yeah, definitely. in there. I'm going to check the edge hold of this. Yes, it seems to be pretty good but I'm going to check the hardness of this, this metal because those rivets for something that had been hammered in there like that, they're normally really hard to drill out. They're a pain but um, no these weren't. These were really easy. They come out brilliant as you can see. And the holes, nice and clean. That there has got to be cleaned out. So, here we are. Nice. I'll do a bit of fettling down here as well because that's been more than that is as well. Get that done and come back. There it is. Changed it. The uh, remains of the handle are over on uh, the drill bench, and they're pretty pitiful. That is beech. That piece of wood there. Um, and I know that they use beech for these handles as well as ash and all sorts of beach is pretty good wood pretty straight grain and this is very straight grain for taking impact and that's how we are I've glued this as well I've bolted it not not uh, riveted it I'm going to dress the dress the bolts so that they go flat and that will be it and this is what the uh, rest of the handle looks like if I can find it I was a bit disgusted <laughs> unfortunately that 
anyone that does woodwork will tell you that that is basically the consistency of bread. <laughs> Dry bread. And it fell apart as I was taking the rivets out. It's in a pretty sorry state. Also, up here, it's been burnt for quite a considerable long time. It's all burnt down there. Uh, yeah, gone completely. It is, it is falling to bits. It's pieces fell on the floor, I just touched it, it's falling out of sight. It is that rotten. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Well, but now it has a new shaft. This is on the other side of the workshop. Also, also I've glued it this time to take the impact as well. And that glue is Gorilla Glue. And once it's dry, there's no moving it, and it's tight, really tight. And then I'll shake the handle. I was just talking about this the other night with my um, next door neighbour. He said it looked all looks all right. I said no, I couldn't trust it. that the burning was when they fitted it years ago they used to burn things into place and it looks like it has been but uh that is absolutely horrendous But the new handle will look a lot better. <laughs> and I've made it a little bit thicker as well. But I don't like the way that that was so thin. I think someone had been messing about with that. So, yeah. Excuse the mess, as they say. There's the shaft of the other handle and that is solid as a rock beautiful piece of beach bit of oil on that and we'll be well away mm. a lot more shaping to do though I've just made a little tool to help me with that little scraper to help me with that suddenly It's only a scraper. You can scrape the shape. It looks alright. That'll do. Well, there it is. Finished. And that was a lot of her uh, faffing and humming and ahhing what I was going to do with it but I've finally done it and there you can see in front of you the finished item I've not riveted it I've uh, used bolts flushed them because I might want to change this and make it back to how it was properly with rivets and that but not not today uh, sorry it's been glued it's going to be bolted and it's all together slightly tapered towards the back end uh, not too much there's a little bit more length on there than there was before before it was about that long and for me it was too short anyway but it looked like it, it might have been repaired so I've looked at pictures of other ones and they seem to be longer so I've made this one slightly longer and there it is All I need to do now is smooth it all down. And that should be it. Well, there's the other view of it. I know it's shaped. I've shaped it down the end there. Cleaned up all the gaps and things there.
this was fitted as it was pointed out to me sometimes because uh, of the age I am I forget things uh, about fitting handles and things that we used to do and one of them was we used to hot fit it and uh, what I think they've done with this when they hot fitted it, it was too hot and it's burnt the sh sugar out of it so it was all nasty and horrible and now it's quite nice it's got a nice swing on it as well so I'm happy with that pretty it up and uh, that's it done Down in front of it, where it's all fitted. The date on it, you know, 1952. Oh, you just use the spike just to see what it would uh, do, and wow, <laughs> it makes a dent. It really does. I reckon if I hit it hard and just swung it from the end, I could split that without any problem whatsoever. This is an old bit of um, tread from a garden uh, patio. This is the other side of it, you can see. As it tapers, oh, quite pleased with that. Here's the edge, and the edge is quite good. It uh, could do the job. Unfortunately, I've got no no tripod. I bought my tripod today, and I bought a camera without an SD card in it, so <laughs> still we couldn't win. 